let me just quickly hit you with a word of wisdom from a Christian. Okay? From the mouth of a Christian. Two things that you will learn in this life with human beings in general is when a human being has gotten something that is good and all, it's like they get everything they need. They tend to take it for granted. They tend to not know us its value. That is why some people, even when they are rich, you hear that they are depressed. It's like a human being, when all things are smooth, they start to go and search for trouble. That is why they get rid of good people, but only to regret later. And now let's go to the second thing, the regret later. So you must understand a human being, they will toss something aside. But when somebody else comes and pick that thing up and see value and show that, yes, to them, they, they like it. Although they felt like they don't want that thing, they start to worry. That is why a narcissist, that is why an ex, that is why someone who let you go, the moment they see you happy with somebody else, they will start bothering you, start calling you, start coming back. And even when you do give them a chance and you get rid of the new person who was treating you right, that person doesn't take long, they go back to their old ways. That is how they are. And you also have to be smart. Let me tell you, don't be shocked when the narcissists start calling you, seeing that you have moved in. This is how they are. But remember, most people, they never really change. I, I like the saying, this. My, my mom just said something profound today. She was like, they say, there's a saying that goes like, it's only a hand that can let go of, of things. But the heart never lets go. Meaning, it's only a hand that can let go of bad moves. You can, you can hold something bad and you let it go. But when, once it is being held by the heart, the character is in the heart. Ah, the heart never lets go. That is why they say a cheater never changes its spots. That is why if you see someone really having to change them, you find that they have really changed for real. Wow. It is a, a, a credit that must really be given to the Lord without a doubt because such realities are scarce. People can only pretend. And I pray for you. May you not be distracted by any narcissist in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And of course, that's all I had. My details are on the comment section below. See you next time.